Hi, this is Teacher Jennifer from U.S. Citizenship Podcast. Today we're going to do a quiz for Constitution and Citizenship Week. The questions follow the structure of the U.S. Constitution. Let's get started. Overview of the U.S. Constitution. Question 1. What does the Constitution do? A. Announces our independence. B. Explains laws. C. Protects basic rights of Americans. D. Sets up federal agencies. Preamble. Question 2. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? A. Everyone is equal. B. Life, liberty, happiness. C. People have rights. D. We the people. Article 1, the Legislative Branch. Question 3, how many U.S. Senators are there? The House of Representatives has how many voting members? A, 50 Senators, 100 voting representatives. B, 50 Senators, 435 voting representatives. C. 100 senators, 435 voting representatives. Or D. 100 senators, 538 voting representatives. Article 2. The Executive Branch. Question 4. Who signs bills into law? Who vetoes bills? A. The Chief Justice. B. The President. C. The President pro tempore. D. The Speaker of the House. Article 3, the Judicial Branch. Question 5, who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? A, John G. Roberts, Jr. B, Joseph R. Biden. C, Kamala D. Harris. D, Kevin O. McCarthy. Article 4, State Powers. Question 6. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? A. Approve licenses. B. Declare war. C. Provide protection. D. Review laws. Article 5. The Amendments. Question 7. What is the rule of law? A. Everyone must follow the law. B. Leaders are above the law. C. Government must obey the people. D. No one is above the people. Article 6. Federal Powers Question 8. Under our Constitution, Some powers belong to the federal government. 
What is one power of the federal government? A, to approve licenses. B, to declare war. C, to provide protection. D, to review laws. First through 10th Amendment. Question nine. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? A, freedom of assembly. B, freedom of speech. C, right to go to school. D, right to go to work. Eleventh to twenty seventh amendment. Question ten. Name one right only for United States citizens. A. Serve in the U.S. military. B. Serve on a school board. C. Vote in a federal election. D. Vote in a local election. So let's get ready to review the answers to the questions. Question one, what does the Constitution do? Answer C, protects basic rights of Americans. You can also say, sets up the government or defines the government. Remember, you only need one correct answer. Question two, the idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? Answer D, we, the people. Question three, how many U.S. Senators are there? The House of Representatives has how many voting members? Answer C. We have 100 senators and 430 voting members in the House of Representatives. Question four. Who signs bills into law? Who vetoes bills? Answer B, the president. Question five. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? Answer A, John G. Roberts, Jr. You can also simply say John Roberts. Question six, under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Answer C, provide protection, which includes the police. You can also say provide uh, schooling and education, provide safety, the fire department, give driver's license, and approve zoning and land use. Question seven, what is the rule of law? Answer A, everyone must follow the law. You can also say, leaders must obey the law, government must obey the law, no one is above the law. Question eight, under our constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? Answer B, to declare war. You can also say to print money, to create an army, and or to make treaties. Question nine. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Answer A, freedom of assembly. Answer B, 
freedom of speech. You can also add freedom of expression, freedom to petition the government, freedom of religion, and the right to bear arms. Question 10. Name one right only for United States citizens. Answer C. Vote in a federal election. You can also add run for federal office. But remember, you only have to give one answer for these questions. Thanks for taking the 2023 quiz for Constitution and Citizenship Week. Check out the, re the Civics Resources for Constitution and Citizenship Week on links.ed.gov and the U.S. Citizenship Resources for Constitution and Citizenship Week on uscitizenpod.com. The links are in the show notes. Thanks for listening. I know you will be a great American citizen. Happy Constitution and Citizenship Week. Bye-bye.